Hello everyone and sorry about all the noise. Got a lot of fans on here today, it's a little bit warm. We're working on a 2020 Ford Explorer and this one has a very intermittent problem with not shifting into, uh, well it shifts into park, but the park pole doesn't engage the lock so the vehicle rolls away and then the emergency brake applies. I did a lot of research. I found a video talking about this, but they don't actually show you much on the vehicle or in the transmission. So I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail and uh, hopefully help some people out here with what's going on. So this is a 10 speed transmission. I believe it's a 10R60. It's in a Ford Explorer Sport with the three liter, uh, v I believe it's a three liter V6 uh, twin turbo engine and uh, it's all electronically shifted. So I've got it mostly apart here. Um, you're usually gonna have a code associated with this. I'll put the code in the title of the video. Um, but uh, yeah, and you're gonna have problems with the vehicle starting to roll away after you put it in park and then the emergency brake slams on and you hear a chattering noise. Kind of like, it sounds like you're trying to put a transmission in park when it's still moving because that's what's literally happening here. What's going on is there's, uh, first off over here, there's an updated spacer plate for the valve body. I've already done that and uh, put the new filter fluid and all that good stuff in it. So the valve body is already done, but I wanted to really focus on what's causing the problem here. So the parking pawl mechanism is right here. So there's a rod that slides in and then actuates this. You can hear me actuating in there. And then that locks in on the output shaft and prevents the vehicle from rolling. So on my cart over here, I've got the, uh, I've got the old part out. Transmission range sensor comes out. You gotta set the cooler aside. And then here's what fails, right here. So this is a parking pole actuator rod. And as you can see, the end of it is broken there. I don't know why that fails like it does, but there you go, it's broke. So here's the new one, here's what it should look like. Here's the old one, broken. So it's not too terribly much in parts, but it's just a little labor intensive taking the transmission part like this. Problem is I have not been able to find this other piece here so now I'm gonna have to go back in the transmission here and see if I can fish the broken piece out with a magnet. So when I was able to use two hands, I was actually able to get the broken piece out. I held the parking pole back with a little pick tool here was able to reach in with my uh, magnet and as you can see the broken piece stuck to the magnet and I was able to get it out of there all right at long last she's back down on the ground and everything seems to be fine one other thing I thought I'd point out is what if you're gonna do this job consider replacing the transmission cooler as you can see this one that I have here cracked you can see that crack there and I had a fluid leak. So it's a pretty common issue on those. That aluminum is extremely thin there. And my guess is what happened is, is when I was separating the cooler from the transmission, these inlets here were kind of seized in the transmission. I'm guessing it cracked there. So anyway, consider replacing this. It's a really common issue. And these coolers are usually in stock. Anyways, that's about it. We're going to go drive it and make sure she's all good, but uh, it's going into park just fine and holding and there's no leaks.